Hello everybody, this is the Badger King and welcome back to another episode of my Croc Cudren Let's Play. So, I'm just gonna pick up from where we left off last time. So last time I was kind of, kind of, all I was really doing was just trying to build up my infrastructure, things like that. Um, now I did have my army deployed down here in Krog, drawn, I believe, last episode when we left off. Um, but I think I went ahead and moved them up towards Mount Swighorn. I actually kind of dabbled around with this campaign earlier. I didn't record anything. I just, you know, again, just dabbled around with it, screwed around. Um, I was, uh, oh yeah, I was trying to figure out why my audio wasn't working. Um, so, yeah, I just, just, if you guys are getting confused, that that's the explanation for it. Um, but yeah, so, anyways, um... Again, just we, we were trying to screw around with the infrastructure, trying to build our economy up a little bit. But then, at the end of last campaign, I did realize that we had a lot, I mean, a lot of green skin armies kind of making their way around. We had some over here, I do believe, and then we have some at, uh, what's that called? Iron Rock. And then the one that was deployed down here on Black Crag, well, they finally made their way up towards... Um, the Silver Road, the pr our province of the the Silver Road is what it's called, anyways. So yeah, I went ahead. Again, my uh, what, what's his name? The Slayer yeah, Iron Fist. <laughs> I didn't know which one it was. Iron Fist. You know, he was deployed down here at Crag Drawn. I seen this army move up, so I went ahead and moved him up here towards Mount Squighorn. I think I did it just because I didn't want to uh, um, forget battle. about it. Now I don't really know what they're going to do this next turn. I don't. I think now they are in um, the, you know, use the underway stance, but I think if they switched out of it, I don't think they'll reach. Um, now, I might be wrong. I don't really know, but I, I, I don't think they will be able to. I don't think they'll be able to come around and attack us. So, I think what will happen if they do try to move on us, um, I think I might be able to take them out, kind of, uh, you know, 20 stack versus 20 stack. Um, but if not, then I guess, of course, we'll just see what happens. And I'm not going to upgrade anything at Crag Drawn because we do have the army down no, here. No. Alright, so I don't really know if I want to waste any money in upgrading things if they're just going to retake it or sack it. Um, or even raise it. So yeah, that's pretty much where we left off last time. I am going to use no, Deanson to go ahead and take this guy out. We have a pretty good chance of doing it. And sweet, sweet victory, boys. Sweet, sweet victory. Alright. Alright, so strike the runes. What? What? Uh, let's go for scouting, actually. It's like the only thing I really haven't done on here. Alright. I'm really quite proud of Deanson. I mean, he, he's quite... Um, well, not quite, but... He's really kind of... Proven himself with our campaign down here against the Greenskins. I, uh... I like it. Also, what did you guys think of my new intro? I know it's, I know it's pretty cheesy, alright? Don't get me wrong. I kind of just threw it all together. Ooh, looks like they're going to move down there. Alright, anywho. Uh, I know it's pretty cheesy. I uh, <laughs> I was kind of thinking to myself. I was like, man, I really I really wish I had an intro. Like every every good YouTuber has a decent intro, and uh, I figured you know why not play as Crack Kadrin on you know one of the uh, multiplayer battles or not a multiplayer battle but one of the custom battles that you can do. I kind of took some um, what do you call them? Uh, I wouldn't call them theatrical shots, but whatever they, they call it, whatever that's called, where you take all the UI shit off, if you guys know what I mean. Anywho, so if you guys like it, leave it down in the comments. If I can improve anything, go ahead and let me know. I will tell you this, my mouse cursor was like in the way of a lot of the shots, so I, I kind of forgot all about it until I uh, was making the uh, intro, so... Besides that, you know, let me know. I am the Slayer King. All right. So if I take these guys out of the underway, I, I know for a fact I won't be able to reach reach them. But I'm Ready. thinking. 
will be satisfied with this. Uh, oh no, see what I'm kinda of thinking here is what if I was act what if I acted like I was going to Crag Darn, right? And But in reality I want I kinda of wanna fight these guys, you know what I'm saying? I kinda of wanna get them out of here. So what if I What if I decided like I was going towards Crag Darn? You know, maybe like have them intercept me. I mean, they have the choice to intercept me. So, I mean, it not might not work, but um, I guess it would be worth a shot. I think I'm going to send Deanson over here. Just kind of want to see what they have, what kind of armies they got. Looks like they are starting to recruit another army over here towards Iron Rock. Um. Honestly, I don't think I want to spend any money on anything. No, let's go ahead and try it. Let's go ahead and try it. I want to see if they... Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright, I was kind of hoping this would happen. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. And we, uh, we get to use our cannons this time, so that's pretty badass. I like that. Alright, let's fight the battle. I mean, I knew, I knew they had the chance of intercepting me. Either way, we would have been able to uh, garrison or fully defend. Um, oh shit, what's, what's that settlement called? The settlement they were going after. Okie dokie. Um, actually, I think I'm just going to make my line reinforce them with these guys. Like so. Nicholas. Like that. Put my cannons in the back as well. Alright. Put these guys on our flanks. And let's see. Let's put our slayers on this flank right here. And then with our thunders, we're just going to put them over here. All right, I think that's pretty good formation. Dwarf warriors! Let's start the battle. Let's get some movie shots right there. Oh yeah. I wish other Total Wars had this, especially like Napoleon or Empire. I think it looked pretty badass. Damn. Damn, man. There's some shots over here. Looks like we're targeting their artillery, which is totally fine. I don't, I don't mind that one bit. Dude, look at these guys. That cracks, that cracks my shit up, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, I'm sorry. That's good. That's good. I haven't seen, I haven't seen this type of cavalry yet. Oh, dude, look at their legs! My gosh! All right, I gotta, I gotta focus. Oh my gosh, that's funny though. It's funny. It's good. All right. Get him going. Or is it Deanson in there? Or not Deanson? Iron Fist. Alright, let's try to get some of their cavalry here. Yeah. If 
Get one of these guys to go over here. Alright, so far, not so bad. Not so bad. Let's try to work our thunders in behind, like so. Get some good volleys on, like that. Let me get these guys out. Get them out of the way, you know what I'm saying? Kill them! Shoot the Wazax! The action cargo first! Move to attack! Alright, let's push our corollers up a little bit so we can hit their uh, their horse artillery. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, okay. Alright, good. I was like, I, I wonder why they're freaking the Lord just all of a sudden going towards my, uh... Oh, it looks like they've broken my, uh, my artillery. I was like, listen here, bud. Listen here. Doing, but just go ahead and pull Come it back. Alright. Let's see if we can do a good flank right here. As a matter of fact, let's kind of work in behind, like so. Looks like our thunder is going to be able to break them, though. Alright. Now they're about to break about to break and we got a victory so let's go ahead and use right. kill these guys back real fast we'll try to get rid of as much people as we can try to get these guys in the way so we don't kill them And I think that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and end the battle. Close victory. Wasn't that bad, I don't think. So we only lost 341. The Slayers took quite the beating. As a matter of fact, I don't know. Honestly, don't know if the Slayers are are, are worth it anymore. I, I kind of don't like. I I like them. I like having them as a flanking force. Don't get me wrong, but they uh, we just lose them so fast. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We the we almost like take them out completely every single battle we have because they don't have any armor or anything like that. All right. Um, the treasury with this actually sounds pretty good, so let's go and go for that. Alright, so we got a follower. I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to hit that up. Ken, on the other hand, upgrade him, so let's go, let's go for the ammunition. Try to work with our corollaries a little bit. Um, we can't take these guys out of the underway for right now. Um, I do, however, think we'll be able to fend off against Iron Rock. Now, I think what I can do here is, yeah, I can actually build a building here. I kind of want to go and upgrade to a watch room just because it gives us a little bit 
Ward Garrison and things like that. Um, Craig Drawn, that's what it's called. But I think Craig Drawn's a pretty strategic place because it's in a very, uh, I mean, it's what? Coming from the south, there's only three ways in towards the, uh, I mean, the Silver Road, right? Three choke points. You can go kind of through here and around. Um, you can also use the underway as well, but, um, in my opinion, if you want to go through, like, go through here, if you want to get to, the, you know, the Silver Road from these areas, then, uh, Craig Drawn is pretty strategic, if you know what I mean. So, um, we could go ahead and upgrade something in the crowd cell crock. Um, actually, you know what? Was I... Alright, we got one more turn until we get the, uh, refectory. When we get the refectory, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually begin. disband these miners right here. So we can kind of get, um, some better, you know, income. I think that's good for an intern, so... Alright, let's go for it. like Deanson was able to hold off an assassination. Sweet. Take these guys with them yes, in our regular stance. So it looks like they're kind of uh, mustering up a pretty good army right here. Um, I think I think we might be able to use Thorgrim's army to kind of go over here towards Mount Squighorn. Um, The reason why I say that is because I, I'm kind of afraid these guys are going to really push up on three here and try to take Krog Dorn and ultimately try to take out Ingram Ironfist. So I'm thinking we're really going to need these reinforcements. Um, Karatsal Krak has a pretty decent garrison. Pretty decent garrison. Um, I kind of want to get them some more growth though, to tell you the truth, so we can go for uh, a settlement upgrade. I mean, we have five more turns until we get to the, uh, a, a population surplus of four. So we might not need to upgrade that just yet. I'm kind of being diligent with my, my funds here because we have such a low, um, income. But I think we should be all right to, uh, disband these miners. All right. So that, yeah, that's going to help out a lot actually so all right and our relationship with all right so our relationship with the the vampire accounts they just keep on kind of going back and forth and uh honestly it's kind of scaring me because i don't want anything to do with them like, i don't want to go to war with them or anything like that our war with the green skins is pretty much as much as i want right now um, as much as i can hold as a matter of fact i don't really feel like pressing on any just because um, the green skins are so much more powerful than I am, alright? They're like... Uh, let's see. Where are they at? Damn it, not right there. Actually, you know what? No, no they're not. They're, uh...
They have a strength rank of 26. They are at war with a shit ton of other people, though. I, I just now realized that. Including the border princes. So I imagine they have some armies over here. Let's see, they're at war with... Who are they? Oh, well, I guess we haven't discovered them yet because that's what it looks like over here. Clan Ungrun. So they're at war with Clan Ungrun. They're also at war with the Border Princess. So I, I can only imagine they're probably getting some heat over here in this region as well. Alright. I don't really feel like it would be a good idea to press on them though. I kind of like our defensive stance that we have because again we have these armies coming in from the south I don't really think Iron Fist will be able to hold off against all these guys um, Unless we bring the grudge bear over there. I mean these armies don't get me wrong. They're not really that big, but what if they um, Like bring in another army, you know what I'm saying or what if they Try to move around, you know what I'm saying or they, they kind of split off. We really need somebody to kind of help um, defend off against that. Like I said, Kronos, Krox, Garrison, I think it's alright. I think it's, you know, decent. It'll be able to hold off. But... The runes are ready. Wonder, I wonder if they have any armies down here. Moving. Just kinda, I'm kind of trying to see what all they have going on here. I might try to... might go up around towards... Ackendorf next turn maybe um can I upgrade anywhere else actually can I crack and go Ooh, we can actually go for quite a few buildings here what do we need? What, our, our public order is stabilizing, apparently. We can go for some Slayers. I'm not really too uh, worried about it. I might go, actually, actually, you know what? I might go for a refectory just so I don't ha really have to worry about public order. I mean, it's at zero. It's stabilizing. But again, um, what if we get bad omens or something like that? You know what I'm saying? The... Uh, This right here is actually not that bad either. Or we can save up our money and go for the gold smelter. Cost around 4,000. So, the trading depot. We can go for the trading depot. Because it gives us income from trade, but I don't think we're actually trading that many factions at the moment. Who? Yeah, we don't. I mean, we don't even have any trade agreements. So. It is night. Speak yeah, didn't think. Didn't think so. <laughs> Kislev, I don't know what the hell's My wrong with Kislev. Uh, I just don't, I don't understand why we can't get trade. I mean, we have a pretty good relationship. Right? I mean, we're friendly with them, so I don't know what the hell's wrong with you guys. This is down. Let's just go, let's go ahead and get the uh, public order building in there, though. And then we'll just see what happens from there. Another end turn, I suppose.
right. Looks like we got a rank gain here, so let's check that out. Um, since you're deployed into the army, let's go ahead and uh, let's up your uh, fighting skills. Um, hard to hit. Hard to hit's always a good one, so let's go for that. All right, so we lost track of their armies over here. Get at me, Ed. Looks like this army grew a little bit. It is let's get Dainson over here and see what's going on. All right, so we got a 14 out of 20 stack right there. So I don't know. Hmm. So these guys right here, yeah. they're probably on their way to, uh, you know, what I'm trying to. What am I trying to say? They're, they're a growing army, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. But we do have to watch out. On the other hand, we're we're missing. A wise direction. An army over here so I don't know if they went over here towards Black Craig or, or what I'm also wondering like what if we went after Iron Rock I mean it has a pretty nasty garrison it has a 14 unit garrison they have walls and then they also have a pretty decent army standing here they got some of these savage orc big guns which have a melee attack of 48 I mean that's pretty badass it's not something I really want to deal with oh, no. I mean, our guys, don't get me wrong, we have a melee defense of 53. I mean, that's pretty damn good. A melee defense of 56 with our long beards. So we might, I mean, I think if we had reinforcements, we'll be all right. But again, it's just whether or not I want to leave Kronzok Crack on, on, uh, well, I don't want to say on garrison, but undefended, really. Because I don't know what they have over here. I don't know what they have this way you know things like that um we do have the construction now so we're at 12 with that garrison what does that give us anyways gives us some door foyers great weapons some miners quarrelers quarrelers great weapons actually a shit ton of quarrelers great weapons and then a grudge throw so that ain't i mean that ain't bad i guess Um It is time. Hmm. I don't know. I I kind of got to I got to come up with the plan though. Because they really they haven't really made any moves on us either except for at the beginning of this episode of course, but well, I kind of figured they would have kept on trying. Um I wonder However, we have come into True contact King. with Clan Ungrund, or is it Angrund, or Ungrund, or Together how, we how do you pronounce that? We go for a let's go for a non-aggression pact. I kind Bora. of I, I kind of want to see if we can get a a uh, what. Maybe a confederation with these the guys. What if we went for a defensive alliance? No way. They're not going to take it this turn, but maybe, maybe next turn. Maybe next turn. All right. Um. I ain't doing that. Hey man, he ain't doing that. Did you hear him? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and end the turn again. I don't really want to upgrade anything. Actually, I don't think I have enough money to upgrade anything.
A caravan raid. A dwarf trade caravan is ringed by Golovin Wolf Raiders. A stalemate has developed, but the foe refuses to relent. Such a local fray should be dealt with by the local lord, but your intervention could speed things up. Alright. Well, I kind of like that extra public order, so you're on your own. Leadership will be bad, but I don't think we're going to have any type of engagement within the next three turns. Anyway, so at least I don't think I am. Right, let's go ahead and move over here and see if we can get any eyes on Black Craig. It doesn't really look like it. I don't see anybody, but again, it couldn't be an ambush stance or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Yes. Um. I don't know. See, all right. So this is pretty much the end of the episode. So I kind of, before I kind of sign off here, I kind of want to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what I'm thinking. So I'm kind of thinking about taking, um, Grudge Bear. All right, and moving him around towards Mount Squighorn. Okay. Um, the reason why I want to do that is because Kratzal Karak has a pretty decent garrison. Or I'm not really worried about Kratzal Karak in terms of having anybody come up towards it. But I am going to deploy him at Mount Squighorn before I make any moves down here towards Black Crag. And the reason why is because I want to see if anybody comes up from like Vranka Hills, Bragg, Dasbog, and uh, Eichendorf. I think I pronounced that right. Dawasbag? Da Dawasbag? I think I said Dawasbag. Barag? Dawasbag? I think that's how I pronounce. I don't know. I just don't want to. I don't want to leave here and then have anybody come back up through here and try to take Kratz out crack. All right. If it's a full twenty stack, you know, and I'm here at Mount Squidcorn, I should be able to come in and reclaim it or lift the siege if it, you know, were to happen. Um. Retake the realms. I agree. But yeah, I think that's what the plan is. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and. Deploy him out that way just to see if anything happens. Um, but with that being said, I don't think I don't think there's anything else. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I like that plan. I like that plan. I, just got, I, had to, I had to think about it a little bit. But I, I think I, I think that plan's a good one. Keep Iron Fist here to kind of prevent these guys from making a move on Krak Drum. Then use Grudge Bear to kind of move along here and take out Black Krag. Now, we might need some reinforcements with that, to tell you the truth. Um, I must fulfill my if we oath. put him in, use the underway, we might be able to reach it. But again, we gotta watch out for, for him coming after Krag Drum. Or we can, no, no. I think I think we will probably need reinforcements because there was an army lingering around here. And I don't know where the hell they went. All right, so. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just have to see next episode how everything plays out and shit like that. But for now, um, I think that's a good plan. If you guys don't think it's a good plan, leave it down in the comments. If you think it's an alright plan, a good plan even, <laughs> leave it down in the comments as well. I kind of want to see what you guys think of that of that plan, you know what I'm saying? Um, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you liked the episode, please hit that like button. But if you didn't like the episode, then by all means, hit that dislike button. Um, if you liked that intro, um, please let me know. If there's anything I need to work on with that intro, you know, again, please let me know. Um, I know it's not the best intro in the world, but I did cut it short a lot, you know, compared to the last intro that I had. Um, and it's something, you know what I mean? It's something that kind of, I hopefully, you know, draws your attention. If it doesn't, then, I mean, obviously, I'll be able to tell with the views and shit like that. But, um, yeah. If there's anything I can work on it, please let me know. If there's any strategies, tactics, or suggestions, then by all means, let me know in down, in down, down in that comment section. Um, if you guys are liking my content and everything like that, then please hit that subscribe button as well. And just like always, bye for now.